So in this case I have uh, set up with an eye fanger tool here. I want to just show some threading. I um, also say that I like this setup with a semi-automatic or semi-manual, whatever way you want to say it, uh, use of the bench uh, allowed by the ELS and the retaining of the, uh, let's say, the clasp nuts and everything here. You can see it in both the hand wheel on the side and the, and the rack feed plus the ELS can be used more or less uh, simultaneously or at least very easy. Okay, let me proceed with the threading. So here I am uh, starting threading, a 25 millimeter portion, uh, lead screw pitch, 8 TPI, 3.175 millimeter. I'm running at 379 RPM, which is the lowest direct uh, belt speed on this uh, setup. So the cycle starts, okay, a little bit shy. So I adjust inwards. I'm feeding in about 12 hundredths of a millimeter for each pass. And the ELS here will tell you when to retract the tool back again. And the starting of this is by pushing start on the ELS, of course, here. And then you see it says now retract. So you just have to retract the tool and the ELS automatically then moves back again to the starting position upon which you press start again. So the only thing you have to do is to remember to retract the tool and set the new depth of cut. I'm using an eye fanger uh, tool here, a square tool. This 90 degree setup with plunge cutting uh, should function okay for this kind of, it will become a, a square thread. I'm not showing the whole uh, complete operation here, but you get the point. Uh, I must say this half manual, half automatic, uh, automated cycle also functions okay, even with compared with, uh, because you can set up a, a, a dual axis uh, control here also with this system. Uh, of course, then you fully automate the system, so you don't have to do anything. But uh, still, it functions okay, a little bit slower. So uh, you can see here how you proceed. And as long as you remember to retract the tool, set a new depth, you're good to go. So this is the special threading program, of course, not just the gearbox left or right. So that's also okay. So here is the threading as far as we have managed. Not complete, but uh, you see how it becomes a square thread with 3.175 millimeter pitch. So the only thing you have to do is really to remember to retract the tool and then uh, set the new depth. Uh, that's the only hassle, so to speak. Uh, so it would, of course, be better with uh, putting on the second axis here also. Then you will also be able to use the other portions, so to speak, of the threading program.